Hi, little learners, it's Miss Patty from the Cybrarium. I, behind me today, have a felt board. And on the felt board, it has all the different parts to the story that we're going to be reading today. So as I'm reading you the story, I'm gonna be showing you the different pieces. Usually, I show you the book as I'm reading it, but we're doing something a little bit different today. The book's name for today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and it is written by Eric Carle. Eric Carle has written a lot of books, and they are amongst the favorite for everyone that loves his stories. He is very well known for his artwork, and this is one of those books that I can read over and over again and never get tired. So today we're gonna go on the adventure that the little caterpillar takes and something really special happens at the end. So let's enjoy this book together. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Published by Putnam Books. Thank you Putnam Books for allowing us to read this together. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry, one, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Let's see if there's five here. One, two, three, four. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, so much food, and one watermelon. What do you think happens after you eat all that, all those different foods? That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't uh, hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed in for more than two weeks then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and he made his way out and what do you think what do you think he became he became a beautiful butterfly and it just went by there went a beautiful butterfly so the caterpillar was really, really hungry. So he ate all the things that were really good for him. You could see he ate through the apple and the pears, the plums and the strawberries and the oranges. And he still felt better even though he was still hungry. It was that day that he ate through a chocolate cake and an ice cream cone and a pickle and a sli um, Swiss cheese and salami, lollipop, cherry pie, sausage, cupcake, and watermelon. Oh boy, when you mix all those things, yep, the caterpillar got a stomach ache. So when you're eating, you have to go ahead and see if that day you don't have the sa do the same thing that the caterpillar did because maybe you'll get a stomach ache. But if you eat really good foods and then eat uh, maybe not so much of these uh, other foods, then um, you'll grow to be nice and big and strong and have all the energy that you need and no stomach ache. I hope you like this book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Little learners, let's sing a song and we're gonna be singing it to the tune of E-I-E-I-O. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Do you remember that song? Well, this time we're going to go ahead and sing a song about the caterpillar. And the first one is going to be with a munch crunch here and a munch crunch there. Here a munch, there a crunch, everywhere a munch crunch. Right. The second one is going to be with a here because the caterpillar is sleeping and a there. Here, there, chew, everywhere, chew. So that's the second. And the third one we're going to do is a flutter, flutter here and a flutter, flutter there. Are you ready to help me sing the song? Let's go. The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E I E I O, and with a munch crunch here and a munch crunch there. Here a munch, there a crunch, everywhere a munch crunch. The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E-I-E-I-O. The next one is a choo here and a choo there. Are you ready? Little learners, are you ready to go ahead and sing the second part of the song from the book? We're doing the different parts of the book. And this is what happened at the end. So this is right before the end, right? So the caterpillar puts a cocoon or builds a cocoon around him and goes to sleep. So that's the sound we're going to make the here and a there. So let's go ahead and do that together. Ready? The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E-I-E-I-O. He built a cocoon and slept away, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere. The very hungry caterpillar went out one day, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, little learners, this is where the butterfly comes out of a... That's right, the cocoon that was built around the caterpillar, and this is the end of the book. And we're going to go ahead and say, when it's our turn to sing, with a flutter, flutter here, and a flutter, flutter there, because the butterfly, what does it do? It flutters, right? So let's go ahead and sing together. The very hungry caterpillar woke up one day, E-I-E-I-O, with a flutter, flutter here, and a flutter, flutter there, here a flutter, there a flutter, everywhere a flutter, flutter. The very hungry caterpillar woke up one day, E-I-E-I-O. Good singing with me today. Thank you. Little learners, we're going to go ahead and read a second book about caterpillars. This one's titled 10 Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. illustrated by Lois Ellert. Published by Beach Lane Books. We want to thank Beach Lane Books for allowing us to read this book together. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower, a nice shady spot in the garden bed. The second little caterpillar wiggled up a flower. Bower, flower. Does that sound like if it rhymes? Yes, this is a rhyming book. I love rhyming books. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. See right there? The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. Head, bed. Those two words rhyme, and each of the caterpillars are different, as you could see. There are so many different ones, as we'll see at the end of the book. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. Some water with some leaves, and it's right on top of a leaf. <laughs> that looks like fun. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. Pool, school. Two other words that rhyme. And this one is ready to be taken, I think, to show and tell for school. Show you all the students. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. 
that is that bird right there. And the caterpillars right there looking, they're looking at each other. <laughs> the eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Ran hen. Some more rhyming words. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Sea tree. And, hu and hung there patiently. Sea tree patiently. Some more rhyming words. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar became a butterfly, just like in the Very Hungry Caterpillar book that we read by Eric Carl. Yes, the caterpillars turn into butterflies. Did you see how many different types of caterpillars there were? Well, what they did in the back of this book is really interesting. They showed us all the different caterpillars that were in the story and what they turn into. So like this one turned into a butterfly, morning cloak, the buckeye into a butterfly, the cabbage looper, remember when he was on the cabbage head, into a moth, the yellow bear into a Virginian tiger moth, the yellow necked caterpillar into a moth, so it, they could turn into either a moth or, that's right, a butterfly. The monarch, of course, into the monarch butterfly. The painted lady into the painted lady butterfly. The woolly bear into an Isabella tiger moth. Common wood nymph into a butterfly. Look at how many different types there are. And the tiger swallow tail into a butterfly. Now when you see the caterpillars, you might be able to um, look up what type of caterpillar it is and what it's going to turn into. 10 little caterpillars. Little makers, would you like to go ahead and make yourself your own very hungry caterpillar? Well, you can go ahead and get popsicle sticks any size, you want uh, bigger ones or smaller one, that's perfect. You need glue, some pom-poms, googly eyes, and little magnet strip for the back so that you can go ahead and put it on the refrigerator or maybe somewhere in your room. So you take your popsicle stick, and I was thinking choosing green for the body just like the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and you put glue, put it all along, and then you just go ahead and put them on all the way, making the body. And then what I did is I chose the red for the head part and then the googly eyes, and then I don't wanna turn it because I don't want those to fall, I have to let them dry. But what I did is on the other side, I put a little magnet so that I can put it in my roof, on my refrigerator. So maybe you'd like to go ahead and do something like that, get creative and make your own caterpillar, whatever colors you would like. There's so many different types, so you can make your very own at home.